Hey guys, welcome back to the Rando Waxing and UK One Wheel channel. Back on the mini. I am getting some episodes in on this bad boy. Um, got a little bit more welding to do. I've welded a captive nut. I'll tell you what, let's pop you in my hand. Let's take a quick look at what I'm going to be doing in this episode. Firstly, I would like to apologise. I sound like Barry White, which is not a bad thing. It's just that I do have some lurgy that I've managed to catch off the subly at work, which isn't great. Um, got a captive nut, which I'm just going to be welding on here. Um, I've made a bracket for my bias valve, which um, I'm thinking of possibly mounting here, like so. Um, so I think it will look quite trick. It's easily accessible. Um, I've got nothing else really going on around the steering column, so that looks quite cool. So I might weld that in there. And then we've got plenty uh, to be able to loop this around up underneath and go into that side of the pedal box, which would be quite cool. Got to weld up these two holes, but I'm going to go and get a sledgehammer and just bang out that floor. That's been jacked up on multiple times over the last 40 odd years, and it's just pushed the floor up again. Original floor this side. I've got some undersill to take off uh, that side as well as, so try and dolly that back and get those two holes there welded up and cleaned up. Pretty much like we've done in the back. Got a couple of little pinholes just hit in this weld here, so I've not done anything with that one. Um, and I've got my brackets to weld up as well as. So I'm going to turn my brackets from my seats that I've done into some box section. Laid some filler down in here and, and uh, rust treated it all again because I took a lot of it back to bare metal just because I wasn't quite sure when I'd get back onto it. I don't want any rust settling in. Um, so I'm going to clean all this up, make sure this is all tip top, sand all this back. So it's super smooth and the same on the inner wing as well as obviously you saw me weld those tabs in. I've tidied up this area just here and uh, I had a couple of cracks on this inner wheel arch just up here, which I've welded and sorted all those out. And the same this side, there was a crack just here and I've welded that up as well. So that is really, really, really stout now, which I'm really pleased about. Brackets are all in and I've rust treated everything underneath there. So that's going to get ready for some primer. Got some acid uh, acid primer as well to go on. And uh, yeah, it's just basically a lot of sanding and detailing. And then we can get a layer of uh, primer on this and then this is then ready. So this is side of the actual project is nearly done. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Oh yeah, the other thing I did actually do is um, welded in some earthing straps just here. I don't know if you can see, just some bolts, which are basically have welded to the bulkhead up there, as well as, um, so when I do have my wiring, um, I can literally just use these as earthing straps, put some uh, round clips on, and we can just bolt those in. And also in the engine bay as well, I've cleaned up the earthing strap down here, and I've welded in a bolt just there for the starter motor, because that was always a thing. So we've welded a nice solid, earthing strap in there as well so we know we've got proper connection um because that's always an issue with cars and sluggish starting and stuff um so yeah we've done a lot of detailing just off camera um but that's where we are at the moment so i've got some time lapse to do we've got some sanding to do priming to do and hopefully there should be a big difference between this and obviously what it looks like at the end of it so i've got some masking and stuff to tidy up Try not to damage the paintwork on the outside. Unfortunately, we had a bit of a burn just here where the towel caught fire. So I might end up doing a front end paint job. I don't know. Um, I might take the headlights out to get rid of all this wiring as well. Um, underneath, obviously inside, because I've got some other bits coming for the front end, which I've ordered from Carbon Weasel. Kind of let the cat out of the bag there. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Let's crack on. Let's get on and get this mini to nearer to finished.
they are not perfect, but the actual material, this original floor, it does get quite thin. So I've had to puddle it out a little bit, but they are getting flatter. So if you have only just tuned in, I've only just bought my welder and I've only just started to teach myself how to weld. Put a captive nut just in here, got great penetration as you can see just here around the top edge, that's locked in and secured. But yeah, we're getting a lot more puddling than mountaining, um, which is great, so less to grind off. But we've chased that out, we've put a nice sip washer in there, filled up the center. We're gonna grind these back and uh, see what they look like. So, a bit of more time lapse, a bit more tunes, and let's crack on. some box section which I'm going to weld together and make uh, a basically a box and that's going to be welded in the car there's two captive nuts and that'll sit nice and square and just lift the seat off the ground by an inch and a half so I'm going to weld these together that's the plan I'm just cleaning back the area so we've got good for weld and I will say if any of my neighbours are watching this I apologise for the noise because I live in a lovely quietly holy sack and since I've been building my car all they hear is grinding because obviously I'm learning to weld so we're going to clean these back the slinishies back on obviously the captive nut ones as well and then we're going to try and weld down the side and see how it looks that's the plan big black sky coming over me so let's crack on pop on time lapse and let's get these all cleaned up ready for weld some good beads of weld there I think I've got good penetration I've touched it up to maximum but level one so kind of level three um, I think we're getting good penetration um, I've just got to give it a whack with a hammer now to make sure that's really stuck I'm gonna do the same the other side I'm just gonna do a little bit down here I did try a bit here which I actually linish back because um, I didn't have the wire speed fast enough and I had it on a lower setting so it's really spitting this is actually pulling quite nicely. Um, still a little bit of a mountain, still got some grinding to do, but um, yeah, quite pleased with that. I just need to lay the gun over a little bit more, but I've got, like I say, four of these to do, so I've got plenty of practice, and this is another reason for wanting to do this. Again, I'm trying to teach myself. So stay with me, guys. Let's pop me back on time-lapse and let's burn through the rest of these four, and if I come across any amazing welds, I'll show you. Sure, what a really good weld looks like to be brutally honest but we've got great penetration I've actually got the welder set on maximum too so that's the highest with an eight speed weld so an eight speed cable feed um, currently it overheated so the yellow light had come on so it's just cooling down so I've replaced the copper tip um, and uh, yeah so that's the weld on that one and because obviously it's fresh metal you can really crank it up we've got some good beading welds there so I'm hoping, I've got some disasters just here. Um, there, collectively, got some good slugs. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, obviously I'll linish these back, but uh, do comment below if that's what you think a good weld should look like. I'm not really 100% sure. Um, but again, we have got an immense good penetration. I've dropped these from quite a high hit with a hammer and they're not coming apart, um, which is really, really good. Really, really good. Um, and it's quite nice to practice my welding because the metal's so thick and so fresh you can really crank it up um, I'm trying a circular motion then I'm trying to in out in out and then I've tried a zigzag and you kind of get a different pattern with each so I don't really know is it a figure of eight is it a circular motion but overlapping like the Audi badge or is it a case of zigzag 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 um, I'm not really quite sure so yeah do comment below guys but we are getting on with these and they're looking quite good so 
the light's gone out, let's crack on and just finish this one off. So there we are. That's now all in its back. Nice and smooth. Got some obviously bits I've just got to fettle with. But ultimately, that's now welded together with great penetration. Really, really happy with that. And I've just basically cleaned off this edge because this is the edge that's going to be welded into the car. So, uh, so there we go. I've got a few more to do. Really happy with that. First bit of great welding, I think. Well, leave your comments below. Right, so they are now all mounted to the seat. Bracketry. And I'll offer that in the car. Find out the best seating position. And then tack this bad boy in place. That's the plan. So let's get this in the car. Fabricating a plate that comes across and then basically you want to weld that plate into the car um, and that way then I can get the seat further across to the tunnel given my clutch leg as straight as possible and then obviously the biggest distance from the door to the left hand or should I say the right hand side of the seat which is obviously the offside so this is the driver's door area I want as much gap here as possible so I'm sliding that across I'm going to weld this bracket in and I've got some holes there which I can weld through to the floor um, and then I can unbolt this from the actual car itself and it keeps the square geometry of the actual seat frame and then I can just bolt the seat in and out. That's the plan anyway. So let's crack on and weld this up. that's those welds quite pleased with those quite a nice bit of pooling on there um, hasn't actually raised it up so I can actually the bar itself is still gonna sit flush got that weld there again which I'm quite pleased with um, just gonna weld the underside of this one and this one and then that side so it's got to turn the seat around and then we do the same up here we've made ourselves a seat subframe yeah quite pleased with that let's crack on get the rest done So there we are guys, we have got, I decided to mount the um, brake bias valve there. Now I've got the seat in and I've welded all that framework up. I've got to lift all that back. Um, that is actually in the perfect position just to reach down and to, and the cable comes off diagonally. It will go behind the roll cage, roll up and go straight into the box. So that's where I decided it. The actual steering column was too much of a reach. So we've box sectioned that, we've welded the plates, fabricated a framework, we've welded the framework in, that is perfect. The seat misses the roll cage up there, which is spot on. I've got to do the same this side, which I will get on and do. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we've done today, really. It has taken some time. We've welded up those holes just down there. I can see a slight tiny pinhole, which I might just quickly put a bit of weld in so I can lineage that back. There we are, guys. That seat frame took a lot longer than what I thought. My seat is now on the top of the car. Oh, another video done, guys. I'm getting there slowly. So we're going to get that seat frame, passenger seat in, and get the framework made up for that one. Get that sorted. And once that's done, 
Um, we are then on to, um, I think, brake lines and fuel lines going through the car. So I've got to fabricate some brackets to get into there, and I've got to sand down the engine bay, um, and then I can get that uh, all done. It is taking some time, but like I say, steady progress. I don't want to rush it, I want to do it properly, and I don't want any holes where I don't need them. We are getting there. So there we go, guys. That's it for another episode. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, we will see you soon.